Souls-like games. If I hear that kind of genre, I immediately start hearing those music. Thinking about totally oversized strong looking bosses, which I defeat with just a sword and my dodge roll. <laughs> the second point that came into my mind is the dark atmosphere. Sir, are you the owner of this residence? What a crap is that? Another crap's treasure? It has around 6000 overwhelming positive reviews and people call it Dark Shoals, Flatborn, Shelton Ring, Lies of Sea. <laughs> that seems like a very promising Souls-like to me. So let's check it out together. As our shell has been taken away, we follow the plastic toy into the ocean, find our weapon, which is a barbecue fork, to defend ourselves. And with that, I directly run into a boss, which I should probably not fight yet. So let's skip that part. We found a sandcastle, but they told me I'm not allowed to entry the mighty gates because I'm naked. Well, fair point, if I want to visit someone, I'm also not nude. They showed me a way where you usually should find a shell. So I went there, found a soda vending machine that drops empty soda cans, which we could use as a shell. So that's what we did. Flow, soul, flow breaker. Oh crab, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? Oh boy, are you allowed? You can't run the law. There was self-defense, right? If anyone asked, uh, he just tripped and broke his leg and landed on a sword. I trust you spoke with the captain. The captain? <laughs> Funny. I uh, must missed him. Missed him? Huh? That's pretty weird. Whatever, you're not nude anymore. And that's what counts. Speak. Oh, uh, yes ma'am. I uh, recently had my shell taken away, and I was wondering if there's any way we could work out some sort of a... Do you like my castle, little hermit? Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Look, I can find another way to pay my taxes, but for now I'd really just like to... Oh, perhaps we can work out a deal, little hermit. But first I'll need something from you. A platoon went out on my behalf to recover something shiny and gorgeous from the cave to the west. Return to me with trinket in claw, and we can speak of delaying your tax payments for no longer than two calendar tides. Okay, thank you. I won't let you down. I'll get you the shiniest thing I can. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention the crazy murderous crabs outside trying to... Be gone, little hermit, I tire of you. And with that, our time of being abused started. <laughs> the game has a funny hook mechanics to make later on some jump and run parts, but let's not overheat it, here comes the last basic mechanic. Every shell has its own super move, which can be basically everything from healing to damage to mobility to whatever. So we beat it another little not important boss and giant the burst team pearl for that. In the meantime, weird stuff happened in the castle and the place looks like a huge mess now. Also, every citizen of that castle got weirdly aggressive, so we had to beat every one of them to meet the Dutchness lady once again. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but your guards are going nuts out there! Oh, Klontre, little hermit. <sighs> Our minds are clear as crystal now. Oh, Shuck. I once thought my duchy quite beautiful, you know. Worth preserving. But compared to the reefs, it's a shameful, transient thing. Destined to wash away. That's why I'm having them tear it down. I thought my beauty worth preserving, too. But of course my worthless life will wash away as easily as any other. Almost as easily as yours, little hermit! <laughs>
This is the first real fight because honestly, short spoiler, after we beat her, yes, big surprise, um, we're gonna beat her, the actually story just starts. This is basically the prologue or tutorial or whatever you wanna call it to show us how the game is actually used to play. This is also why I kinda rushed everything to this point, then most things were not really interesting for the story. Oh yeah, and don't forget to always teabag the enemies after you beat them. That's an advice I got from a good friend and I just can't give it to you as well. The stupid plastic toy is there again and tell us to go into the city to buy that child back from him. You know, it's not like it's ours. So why the fuck do we have to pay for that? Whatever, let's go with full speed into the city where Tortellini, yep, definitely a face of Tortellini as well as the great Italian mustache beard. Tortellini, the town greeter, greets us and tells us places where the shark might have sell the shell. With that, we met the citizen shellfish greeter. I think she was totally irrelevant for the story, so fuck her. Punch the goat who is fucking 36 years old, what a grandpa. He's very wise and helps us a lot later. Hammerhead who reminds me on Dr. Eggman from Sonic, he is only here to upgrade our fork. And Nemma, a very caring person, great mother who tries her best to make their life as good as possible. We like her. Sadly no one of them have that shell. Wait, what is that? Wait, is that my shell? D -d -d that's my shell! Are you serious? This guy's still following me? Alright, play it cool. I don't know what you are talking about. Seriously, give that back! It was stolen from me by a jerk shark! Well, first off, that shark seems super cool and chill to me. <laughs> So yeah, that weird prawn is the shark, he is not willing to give us our shell back unless we buy it from him, which is just a fair and square price of 1 billion microplastic. And yes, microplastic is the currency in the game. Our talk got interrupted by the holy trash day, where trash is flying down in the little village and people are happy about it because they can be rich out of that. Trash day! It's trash day! Everyone get your baskets! Don't miss out! Back on! I saw it push! Get your own trash, pump suckers! Is that thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's a message from the captain! It's got his face right on it! It's gotta be! Excuse me? Excuse me, please. Pardon me. Excuse me, young lady. As new Cassinia's official historian, I'm sure I can shed some light on. My god! If I'm not mistaken, this is part of a map! A map showing the way to a most valuable treasure, I say. If someone were to find its missing pieces and decipher them, why, they'd be rich beyond their wildest dreams, I say. Rich? I like the sound of that. That treasure's as good as mine. I'll be able to afford the flashy shell in the ocean, you know? Not if I get there first. Think of all the tourists that treasure could bring to our city. Well, don't you count out us, bottom siders. You'll be eating your hat when I get that treasure and fix up my restaurant. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. The first stop on the map seems to be the forest to the north of here. May the best, Crab! Apologies for the interruption, folks. I seem to have misheard something. I could have almost sworn there were some citizens here planning on unearthing some valuables. 
Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? I'd hope it would go without saying that the duty of such a dangerous excavation would fall to the Shellfish Corporation. That would be safest for all involved. Don't you agree? Yeah, we hear you, Roland. No, no problem. Then, as Shellfish Corp's CEO and this fair city's de facto mayor, I suppose no one would have any objections to my taking sole control of this treasure hunt. Are we all in agreement? Oh, oh dear. I, I suppose that sounds all right with me, I say. You hear what they're talking about over there? Sounds like some kind of crazy treasure hunt. Hey, kid. I just got an idea. If you can go get that treasure they're jawing about, I'll gladly trade your shell for it. For, for real? You'd really do that? You bet. A prawn never goes back on his promise. Aw, yeah! I'm gonna find that treasure! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go, kid. Roland can't tell us what to do. That treasure belongs to whoever can find it first. The corporations don't control us! I suppose a little friendly competition is only fair. I hope you know what you just dove into, kid. See you in the open ocean, treasure hunters. <laughs> and with that, the actually game just started like I told you. I mean, the game is called Another Crab's Treasure for a reason, no? We need that treasure to get our shell back. So far that's the story. I skip all the other dialogue signs we did not talk about Firth yet. He is an idiot, totally blinded by money, does not understand what a dick Roland is and basically wants to become Roland number two, but probably even worse I guess. On our way to the first part of the map we obviously run into other bosses too. This is one of the easiest, just spin him to death. And yeah, to be fair, I love the Beyblade attack, look at that, it makes bosses so easy. I focus on that run all my upgrades on power and nothing else. What makes just one problem? Basically every enemy one shots me. So just don't get hit I guess. There is the first part of the map. Unfortunately I was very tired already because I had to record that stuff at fucking 2am in the morning while I have to go to work at 7am in the morning. And I just did not notice that I have to go back to show everybody that I have a part of the map. So I met Topura, the coolest guy in the game. Why do you sad polluted crabs keep coming to this place? I thought I made it clear. There's nothing for you here. As your sense of self-preservation rotted away even. Or perhaps you truly wish for death. Well, I'll gladly oblige you, my friend. Seems like I'm still out of practice. All skills fade with time, I suppose. I truly thought I would perish in a cooler way, though. Fighting at least 10 or 12 guys. Well, you've earned that petite crap. Come and put my tortured soul to rest. <sighs> I'm not trying to kill you. Oh. That scene kept me laughing for stupidly way too long. I mean, imagine I fought this guy for almost two hours and that is his reaction. Oh, so that was all a mistake? Funny. <laughs> Dude, funny my ass. I was going mentally insane because of you and you just say, oh, fuck you. <laughs> But he is definitely the coolest guy in my opinion. He trained me afterwards as well and teach me the cool Mentis punch, which we honestly kinda needed in the later game. Right now we are on a point in the game where we have to run around a lot and beat a boss after another to go further on and find the second as well as the third part of the map. Since this is more gameplay relevant, I would like to skip that a bit till we got all parts and found out where the treasure actually is. Sadly, we needed a boat for that and obviously all boats are running by electricity. 
And for some reason, they tell me that the fuses we all used would not run the fucking ship. So we had to beat Voltai, which had very interesting weapons. First of all, a hairdryer. Very annoying. Some weird stuff that makes shock waves. A fucking toaster, which shoot toast to help us to climb and damage her. And in the end, a vibrate massage stick. If you thought it was something else than that, this is definitely your fault, not mine. Thanks for playing with me. From her we learned an electricity move and we were ready to go, catching up with the ship of Roland and make some trouble. Well that wasn't as bad as I thought. No one even showed up to stop us. I don't like it. Something smells about all this. Roland knew we were gonna show up. So where's all the resistance? It all really stinks of... A trap? Right you are, bottom feeder. See, us civilized folk have rules. As much as I dislike your little mottled crew, it wouldn't be gentlemanlike to have you disposed of without a good reason. But all y'all have just stepped onto my private property without permission. And where I come from, that's a crime called trespassing. I presume you know what we do to trespassers at Shellfish Corp. Inkerton, kill the city folk. Gladly. <laughs> and as for you... My fight against Roland looks good until I lost again to the worst of all, the map. It cost me my health and now I have to play with a handicap. Remarkable work, Vagabond. The barge is ours. All that remains is to... What the shell was that? Stupid, stupid, stupid little bottom feeders. Don't let any of these trespassers leave, boys. Oh, son. Sorry, Vagabond. Y'all just don't know when to quit, do you? You could have all stayed in your cozy little homes in the reef, watched a shellfish corp dug up this treasure, and waited for that newfound wealth to benefit everyone in town. But y'all just had to get greedy. You decided you deserve this treasure more than the fine people of New Carcinia. And I would be remiss as a local business leader if I didn't punish y'all for this little indiscretion. I dare say that not a single one of y'all- uh, Shut up! I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back! I'm pretty sure I've been working harder than anyone else! And now all of a sudden, I'm the jerk for wanting the treasure I earned? And you... Don't have to do anything at all! Y you just sit around and, and stuff just happens for you! It's not fair! It's all a bunch of bullshit! I'm sick of it! I'm gonna get that! Krill, wait! Treasure! Yeah. Hold on to something, y'all! So cold. Anyone? 
Can you hear me? Nemma? Chitin? Conch? Blue guy? Uh, I think this is my fault. Now I hear weird voices around me and I have to say be patient. You will now hear the most true things to the rest of the video. What problems that are sadly like they are. What word comes to mind when you think of the earth? Uh, hello? Is someone there? Would you say the earth is beautiful? No. It's mean, and it's rude, and it's scary. And everything nice in it just gets messed up eventually anyway. It's over. It's all over. But like, for real this time. There you are. Do you know what happened to the others? Oh, now you care about the others. Is that right? They can get boiled for all I care. And as a matter of fact, so can you. Take a look, pal. Here's the treasure you had us throw our lives away for. <sighs> What's that? It's nothing! Nothing usable at all! No plastic, no glass, not even a single nugget of foam. Just this pile of damp paper. It's totally worthless. It was really all for nothing? So, so what do we do now? You want my advice? Go find whatever the apex predator is down here and jump in their goddamn mouth! Then you'll finally be valuable to someone! If the world is ugly, then you need to fight. Fight to rip this ugly world apart. I don't want to. I'm tired of fighting. I never wanted to be any good at it. I'm never getting my show back. So what's the point? If you don't fight, you will die like prey, along with the rest of this world. Maybe I don't care. Nemma the Grey Woman saved us and tried to build up up again, also that was mostly in her interest as well. She still never gave up on us and that are the people that you need alive. Even if you do some stupid mistakes, as long as people stay behind you and can support you, you can always go on and try to do it better yourself. Afterwards we agreed to help them out of this place. Which means we had to be those two of course as well. And you're certain we're going the right way? How should I know? Think I spend my weekends here, do you? Well then, what the shuck am I still paying you for? Matter of fact, we're in this mess cause you couldn't defeat a damn lobster. Good for nothing. I should have left you on the seabed where I found you, you little... Huh? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the spoils, are you, lad? Proud of what you've done? Uh, look, man, I don't want anything from you. Please just leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. But fight ye did. Just like me. Just like old Linkerton. And down here we've both drifted. Two worthless sinners. Right where we belong. The bottom of the train! Well, maybe just one of them taught you in Cartoon is pretty cool. <laughs> I love this voice, man. He is such an awesome fucking deep voice. Like, for real, for real. We found a weird place that sent us to the ocean where we might find the perfect hole. But before that we have to be the bleach king. In the first phase you actually can just go the entire time very close to him and try to stand as much as possible to the left. 
so he basically can never attack you if he wants to. And then you just get into the second phase. For the second phase I would recommend to use a hammer as well, because else your range kinda sucks against him. His moves are mostly easy to dodge, that's why I preferred also in the end to use my shell as a weapon and not as a shield. And yeah, I think with that it's a pretty, pretty doable boss. Now we go even deeper into that shit. Hehe, <laughs> got it. Toilet. Shit. Okay, I'll be quiet. My god! This is it! This is it, Krill! They all told me it was just a legend! Those buffoons! The perfect world! Do you know what this means, child? The archaeological community will never be the same, I say! With the proper funding, perhaps we can begin to learn the secrets of the ancient hermits. And then it's only a matter of time before... Oh, God damn it! Drivel! Titan! Oh my God! He's... He's dead! You killed him! Time, he says. The old idiot. Time is something we have none of. We're already much too late. Tides upon tides upon tides too late. This ocean was eaten up before I was even an egg. What? Why, why did you do that? He didn't do anything wrong! We are beyond saving. Soon we'll share the same fate as the old ocean. The world has only one use now. To punish this ugly world. To rip it asunder. You think you can wield it? In your complacent claws, it's no better than a rock. And you're no better than them. No better than the ones who ate this world up. To think, we really thought you could be our shell. I could vomit. You are not Kitan. How can you stand it? How can you sleep? How can you even breathe? You've seen how this ocean's been maimed. The agony it's in. The future that was stolen from us. You've seen everything we wanted you to see. So where's your anger? Where is your rage? Doesn't this pain boil you inside, little crab? Doesn't it just make you want to shocking scream? Kathan sadly has been controlled by this weird thing there, who thinks we need to change the entire ocean back to this old clans. Well, luckily Kathan was never really strong, so we beat her easily. Then we have to beat this weird thing, which means we just survive and run around, <laughs> which was honestly very, very easy. Okay? I... 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 killed him. The old man who never raised a claw against me. I was the strong, wielding death against the weak. There is no salvation for me now. It wasn't you, Kitan. It was... whatever that thing was, uh, making you evil. A great confluence of damned souls. <laughs> a grim slurry of umami. My body moved at its whim, true. But the anger was mine. The hate was mine. <laughs> Without it, it could not have taken me as a shell. Stop talking! You're... you're going to be okay, all right? Perform me a favor, vagabond. <laughs> My anger was too much for me, but do not let it vanish. If you can, take my anger with you and wield it where it is needed to protect this world. Stop it! Stop talking like you're going to die! I didn't even... I didn't even like you guys when I met you. But, but I don't want you to go. I, I don't want to be alone again. The confluence was wrong. There's still time to save this ocean. I must believe this. <laughs> Even if it is a lie, I will believe it. Until the day 
This old... Oh, wait, wait, wait! That old guy was saying that shell has a lot of magic in it, right? I'll just put it on. Maybe I can heal you. <sighs> Krill, just, just stay right there. I'll be right... Uh. Whoa, what happened? I put on this cool-looking shell, and for some reason I feel super great now. Like I could take on the whole ocean. Kind of like anything I want can become reality, you know? This is gonna change everything. I'm gonna be a hero. Blue, I, Firth, I need that shell to save Kitan. Can I put it on for a second? Kitan, who's that? Whatever you need, it can wait, pal. I'm thinking big right now, and my big things are gonna save New Carcinia. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Great thinking, me. Let's do it. What? Oh, no, 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 no! Just stay right there, Kitan. I'll be right back. Hey there, pal. No hard feelings about our little disagreement earlier, right? My new powers are crazy. I just moved this whole island directly over New Carcinia. Looks like Trash Day came early. Pretty cool, right? Firth, I really need that shell. Kitan's hurt bad. I'll tell you who's hurt bad. The economy. That's who. With Roland gone and Scuttleport out of commission, our whole city's gonna completely collapse. And not only that, folks are starting to say the trash we've been using is physically harmful to us. Who would have thought? But it's all gonna be okay. Now that I'm the god of this ocean, I've got a super genius three-step plan to save everyone. Step one, sink Trash Island onto New Carcinia, eliminating the whole concept of Trash Day. A permanent economic boom. What's better than that? You're going to cover this city in trash? Can we just talk about this? I just need to borrow the world for Step a minute! Step two, use that trash to usher new Carcinia into a second golden age. You'll see technology advance beyond your wildest dreams! You're not listening to me! And step three, with all that new tech, we'll form a plan to make new Carcinia's economy more sustainable. We ought to be able to start using 20% less trash within the next 200 tides or so. You thought I forgot about that part, didn't you? But I'm a caring guy. If you dump more trash on the reef, aren't they just gonna get gonked faster? And... and, and I still need to save Kitan! So give me that shell! I'm not going to let you do this! That's the cool part about being a god. I don't need you to let me do anything. It's just gonna happen. Here you are, resorting to physical violence to take down an honest business crap. No need to get angry, pal. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. I'm not! I... I am getting angry, aren't I? I think maybe... I've been angry the whole time. Ever since I left the tide pool. I never wanted to be. Everyone else seems angry all the time. I didn't want to be like that, but I can't help it. Not when people like you always get everything you want and other people get hurt for it. It's not fair. And I'm really strong now, strong enough to stop you from making things worse. Let's talk about this like adults. Wait, 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 wait. We were too late to stop him with the trash, but I can tell you the punch was satisfying. Bruh, is that seriously further in the background? Hey, hey pal, no hard feelings, right? Okay, I take back what I said. This was true satisfaction. 
You look as if you've been to hell and back. And to top it off, your shell is just like me. Want my advice, kid? Learn to appreciate the times you've got a shell on. And commit those times to memories. So they can keep you warm when you are without the one. Cause what the craft up don't understand is that not even the finest shells last forever. Dune the gold spitting facts in the end. Talking about shells? Look who we have here, huh, boy? I'm pissed so bad. You better give me back my damn shell or else. word comes to mind when you think of the earth this world is resilient but not endlessly so as this earth spins ever faster towards its uncertain future all will face that future in their own way some will fight for the world they dream of blade in hand some will spend their whole lives saving others from falling through the cracks. And others still will never rest in one place for long. As this fragile world begins to fracture, no matter how large or small, the one thing no creature can afford is complacency. But though history talks of warriors and heroes, and great mighty crabs that shook the world. It is the thankless deeds that shall ever make that world worth fighting for. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is another crab's treasure. Story and plot were insane with many true facts. Oh, and before I forget it, uh, you remember the first boss I accidentally run into that? He kind of bullied me and I didn't like it, so... <laughs> Change settings, give Krill a gun, see you later, alligator.